You may be wondering why the red suit. Well, that's so bad guys can't see me bleed. Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Deadpool vs. The World. It's by USAopoly and it's for three or more players. For ages, I would say 17 and up, unless you're playing in a nice way, which you could probably play 13 and up. In the game Deadpool vs. The World, you're going to be getting caption cards and you're going to be getting WTF cards. These cards are basically going to be little different... Uh, the different art renditions of what Deadpool would likely be doing. And then the caption cards are basically just going to be words uh, blank and then is my middle name. You'll be able to fill that blank in here. And one person is going to be the editor and he's going to get one of these cards. Everybody else is going to use their caption cards to fill in one of the blanks, put the cards in, shuffle them gently so you don't mess with them as far as the writing on them, and then flip them over. The editor will then choose the best phrasing that goes with the WTF cards and that person who he picks is going to be the winner and then we'll move on. The player who gets the most cards at the end of the game is going to be the winner. All right, let's take a look. So here's Deadpool versus the world and everything included. As you can see, you get a full box with all the different cards in it. There's two separate decks of cards, the WTF deck and the caption deck, along with this whole little thingy full of uh, writing utensils, which you can go ahead and use to write on these caption cards. I'll show you in a second. You're also going to get a rule book, Deadpool here, not included. He's mine, just chilling, watching me review it. Over here, the caption cards are going to look something like this. Well, it was the easy way or the blank way, or maybe something like chicks dig blank. Or how about blank? You never see it coming. And then there is the, the what the fuck cards or WTF cards where you have the broken, poor Deadpool trying to do some Yogi style uh, move there. He's going through a metal detector and of course uh, it is blaring. This one here is he's skiing and he had a small accident. And then this one over here, you've got him trying to walk the tightrope, but crows are kind of getting in the way. Well, the idea is everybody is going to get five cards, these caption cards to utilize in the game. So you're going to have three players in the game. Everybody's going to get five of these cards and then one person is going to be basically the editor who's going to draw one of these WTF cards, flip it over, and then show the picture off to people to look at. If he was the person that was the editor, he has the card here. These players are then going to look at their hands and choose a card and write something down on one of the cards utilizing these pens. These are also erasable so you can go ahead and use water to gently erase them. But let's say maybe dumbbells. You never see it coming, right? So he writes dumbbells here. He puts it face down. And this person says, okay, uh, being super sometimes isn't that super. And then he would put that right there. And he put it right here. And any other players that are playing in two would go in. And then you would shuffle these very lightly because these things can w wipe off if you're doing this really light, really, really difficultly. So just be very soft about it. Flip them over. Then the person that is the, the editor will choose which one he likes best. Being super can sometimes be pretty difficult. Maybe you'll choose that one. If that's the case, the person who chose it, uh, who, who placed it down correctly, would get one of these guys. Everybody's going to then draw up to their five hand card size. And the next person is the editor. And you're going to continue going on that way. The person who ends up getting five of these is the person who wins first. You can play in teams and there's some other variants along with it, but that's the basic idea of the game. An editor is going to choose a card, players are going to write down one of their captions, put it in the middle, shuffle it just like Cards Against Humanity, flip them over, and the editor decides which one of these captions works best with the image. That's the idea of the game, Deadpool versus the world. All right, let's talk about it. For those of you who may know me, friends and family and the like, you will know that I really, really like Deadpool so much, in fact, that I have Deadpool's lying around the studio almost as much as I have Mega Man figures. That being said, let's talk about Deadpool versus the world. The first thing I can say about theming is I like Deadpool. I like my Deadpool theme. I'm very happy to see that USAopoly has that theme being utilized in a game. This game is very similar to the game Cards Against Humanity and other games of that specific category of placing cards face down if you're choosing and then flipping it up and having the person that has the main card choose which one they like the best of everybody's card that has been put face down, making sure that it's randomized. The differences between that game and this game are pretty simple. The first one is that instead of the written portions of the card, this is a full sentence, you're going to get images of Deadpool doing ridiculous things. <laughs> doing crazy things, basically. And everybody else is going to get these caption cards, which are basically like Cards Against Humanity, as far as a saying goes or a statement. But you get to add in your own words, which gives it a little bit of uniqueness and flair to it. This being a category of game, I would originally was like, these are kind of played out, these type of games. Uh, but 
when I look further into them, the more and more I keep playing these different types of games, I've started to see that it's kind of a category of style of game. And if I'm going to judge it that way, like, you're not going to probably want to have five or six of these type of games. You're going to want to choose a couple of them, maybe one or two of them. Um, and would I pick this one up over a game like Cards Against Humanity? And the answer is yes. Always a definite yes with games that involve adding your own spin to the cards, utilizing these pens and writing down your own captions as to something either you would say or Deadpool would say, as well as playing the player. You can do that a little bit in Cards Against Humanity based on the cards that you're playing face down. You could try and guess what a player would more than likely choose, but with this you can kind of tailor it. Like, say anything has that kind of aspect as well to it. This one here is obviously still a judging game though, so if you don't like judging games, it's a quick pass for you. However, if you do enjoy judging games, or you've never heard of a judging game before, this one's really, really interesting because I really, really like Deadpool, and I really, really like all the different funny themes that you can get out of it. You can kind of think of all kinds of crazy things. I mean, and almost all of the cards will work for all the different artwork. It's just kind of which one you think fits best in a statement. Being broke, blank for information, finding out he was a blank, and blank from a fellow Canadian with stabby fingers and you have to try and figure out which one of these cards works best with your implemented data so it's half and half whereas something like Revenge of the Blank would be a full on that's all you get right you just simply play you put you write whatever you want which is kind of just free for all or like Pictionary you rewrite whatever you want or draw whatever you want and have players trying to guess what you're drawing this one is kind of 50-50 and it still gives that Deadpool theme to it I don't think it would work very well if at least it didn't have the idea of what Deadpool would likely say involved on the caption cards as a judging game this is a solid yes for me I really enjoy this game I like the theme of the game and all the components are very nice quality and the ability to write on the cards and erase them is very nice. A uh, little caveat with the writing, you have to make sure when you shuffle the cards be very lightly when you shuffle them because you can smear them and also it is a pain in the butt to try and remove them so make sure you have a cloth and some uh, some kind of sprayer or a little bit of damp cloth when you wipe them off after utilizing them. You only worry about to the end of the game but it is a bit of a chore to go and clean all the cards off. Overall though, solid game. If you like judging games do check out Deadpool vs. The World. That's the coolest thing ever! I give it my seal of Deadpoolness. Look, I'm a teenage girl. I'd rather be anywhere than here. I'm all about long, sullen silences, followed by mean comments, followed by more silences.